Good morning. It's fire occasion, getting us off to a start. I got a couple of rolls of quarters, and they've been calling me. There you go. We got an eagle. We got George. Over here, we got another George. And Maryland. Okay, so they're not brand new rolls. They've been tossed around a couple of times. I think, uh, well, we can still have fun with them. Let's get in and see what the heck's going on, because people are going to be looking at quarters. Why not give my heads up on what else is out there besides just these uh, these W's? Are they still getting 75, 80 bucks on those things? Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, you can sort these things if you really want to, you know. At least get out the uh, the hard ones. I can't even see if there's a W. I got to get one of those magnifying glasses on an arm. Well, we'll just have to take it as we go and and go from there. Let's see. What do we got? Who's in here? Adam Thomas. Good to see you. It's a new name, I think. I don't recognize your name. There's Wild Bill Roadrunner. Okay, where's the scope? Here we go. I've got a stick ready. Looks sharp enough. Okay, what do we got? We got a state quarter. It's a Saratoga. And what people look for here, a little die chip right in between the hand and the uh, sword hilt. And also look for doubling right in the center, right in, right inside these points. Looks like Pretty clear here. I might have a little MD on that fingers there. Okay. Nothing to see on this one. But give it a look over anyway. You can always find stuff. You know, if you don't look, you won't find it. There's Ronnie Joe. Good morning. Got a bunch of quarters to go through. All right. Now, uh, besides just uh, picking out the W's and looking at a few of the dates, uh, or die chips or cracks or you know known doubling we'll put together a whole set what do you got here it's uh i don't know painted box wisconsin there you go i don't see anything here but geez you get the p you get the d you get the 50 states the six territories then you got the atbs with 50 states and territories there's no end to it What's this one? This one looks kind of shiny. What's wrong with that? Oh, geez, it's got some rings. Okay, I don't know what I'm seeing. I go through these, these rolling machines over and over and over again. Uh, the coin counting companies, they, uh, you know, they're going to clean the things, get the potato chips and lug nuts out of there. And they roll them up. And the whole idea is they're going to crimp the ends of these things right, with these... Uh, holders while this while the paper goes around it uh, then there's another thing that goes in and uh, wiggles around to nub up the end so you get this nice tight end and that's all well and good but it tends to leave a mark on the coins there we go we'll just pick them out at random here and have a look what's this one apostle islands do i have this one yet oh it's a canoe guy that's a boy in his canoe uh, I don't know of anything on these yet. But if you don't look, you won't find anything on these. If you haven't looked at a quarter, look in the center. This is about the center of the coin. This is where you'd expect to see, like, class 9 doubling sticking out. So look for a, a little extra metal right at the bottom of the cliff here. That'd be a big giveaway. All right. Then you look at the outer edges and see if you see anything. You won't, you won't tend to find much on a class 9 on the outside. Our class eights. Sir Chomps is here. Everybody get ready. And we'll give him a look around. Yeah, but these are uh, these are lightly circulated. You get little marks all over the place on his cheek. Oh, what's this uh, on his neck? Uh, what's the date on this one? 2008. So this is probably released in the last uh, six eight months. So six to eight months from now, this is the best we could hope for from these W quarters that are coming around. They'll quickly uh, turn into AU. It doesn't take long. You know, a little bit of wear is all you're going to need, and your coin is it's not circ it's not uncirculated anymore. It's been passed around. It's starting to show, you know, some rub, some wear. Not a whole lot of wear. Um, you're going to see plenty of George, but uh, right here in the hair, for example, just a little extra rub you're not losing much detail you're still pretty high grade au but uh they're not gonna last what's this one this is pictured rocks 
so it's also not a W but you see just a light trace of wear right on the top of these uh, leaves right right in the highest points you see just these little traces of wear top of the leaves you know 2018 yeah these are brand spanking new they're already wearing out the backpack if you're looking for DDR on this one he's got a backpack there's a guy or that one with a canoe guy there's a canoe guy so you got a backpack on I think that's a life preserver hmm hi y'all there's Dave let's look at the front here looks pretty normal not too worn out yet good the dies I mean okay we have Caesar Rodney first thing you look for here is a spitting horse a little die crack that comes from the horse's mouth that's where you heard it from uh, towards the A in Caesar has a little bend in it okay this ain't it but this is a pretty decent shape on this one it doesn't take long for these to start to wear and this has been around for geez 20 years are you fooling me this is what a 20 year old quarter looks like I think this one spent a lot of time in somebody's change drawer looks okay back there let's look at George okay but even then even light circulation you're gonna get the little dings right this is the reeded edge of another coin scratches they just get tore up getting through circulation it doesn't take long but that one seems to be the exception at 20 years old okay what's this one 2007 all right that was a goner goner wouldn't it be just you know awful you go through a roll of quarters and you find a W you turn it over and you got this on it oh shucks okay here we got Bob Ross we're not gonna bother look at that anymore what's here Maryland I don't know of anything on the Maryland quarters there they are you get the old state house just the top of it and just jumbled up okay get rid of that one and the strato launch of the mega jet just went off yesterday well good okay which I don't know what this one is let's see if we can tell what the back is by looking at the front it's either a state or ATB I'd say by the age exhibited here it's probably a state quarter that's been around a couple of times morning Hoosier it's Kansas and you got a buffalo we'll keep on going I'm losing hope of finding a W because I haven't found six of them yet and who was it uh, Amanda quarter card hobbyist found a W she did a video about it congratulations Amanda that's Indiana well you can sort the darn things and put together the best set you can and it's gonna take a while and it's not gonna be cheap because you got you know 50 states 56 with the, with the territories double that for the ATVs and double it again so you get the P and the D huh yeah you're talking 200 and something quarters just for the circulation strikes everybody hit the thumbs up and if you'd rather hit the thumbs down it's okay either way you know stand there and hit the thumbs down and get those views in that all works what you got here it's the uh, Arizona they got these cactuses in Arizona they jump up at you yeah I was talking to cheap Kate about that oh it's a mean one they're, they're lightweight and they're covered with spines and they the plants you know release these things by the score they grow and fall off and so the whole ground is littered with them and it takes nothing for these uh, I mean the size of you know ping pong ball covered with spikes the size you know of a pencil sharp as razors and it takes nothing to stir them up and they, they grab you they're all over your legs and stuff you don't want to sit down or fall down god forbid you'll be that's a world of hate right there all right what I'm seeing here is a just a standard old roll of quarters this is rolled up in the past few months I'm sure you get some 
2018s in there. Uh, all circulated. I'm not saying much for uh, for good stuff yet. Here we go. You're going to see these lines all the time, right? This is the uh, the lines I was talking about uh, from the rolling machines that roll these coins up. So you get 40 coins in there. You get two sides are exposed. Well, it doesn't always make the mark. Maybe it's got to hit it a few times. Uh, but this is what you're looking for. And this, this destroys the quarter as far as numismatic value. has to be a special quarter to have any numismatic value with those marks on it. Uh, we see nothing here. Uh, hardly any silver. So far, zero. And really looking at the pile over here, I'm, I'm not really hopeful of finding any zero. Where have you been, Ken? Dozens of W quarters have been found the past two days. Well, I haven't found any. I keep looking. I just picked up a couple of rolls the other day. They've been sitting on the desk. I'm dying. i got to get through them. Okay. First thing in the morning. I think it's a good time. we got coffee with Liz coming up at uh, 10 o'clock. And Mantic is going to do his thing a little later today. He's got an auction. Get some of that stuff for cheap, man. He's got good stuff. And not a lot of people are showing up yet. It takes time to establish a, a good sales show. Okay, here we're looking at the chip here, which we don't see. We're looking inside the rings of the sword. So there's nothing there. British surrender. Didn't that just fill your heart with love? We did it before, we'll do it again. Okay, regular old what? That looks like a piece of damage on that T. How are you, Happy Lux? Yep. Look for a bunch of quarters. Well, let's see. Oh, my God. What happened to this? This is just... Looks like it was in a toolbox. 1960 what? Five? Yeah. Bye-bye. You know, when I started collecting, uh, late 70s, there was no silver in the quarters. One in a great while. Uh, it, uh, they'd already been picked out clean. Let me forget it. You couldn't get silver quarters. Uh in 1977, 78, 70, they were gone. Of course, come 1981, you got the uh, the big surge in the price, you know. And what was silver then? It was, uh, you know, six, seven, eight dollars an ounce. Went through the roof. Well, any remaining silver got snatched up and they were melting that stuff down by the truckload. The truckload. But thing is, back when I started, all the quarters were brand new, right? Because they picked out the, the silver. So everything was, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13 years old was the most. And you see what they look like here after 10, 12 years. Um, if you went back 15, it would be 2004. This is a 25-year-old quarter. This would be old back then. This has been around for 25 years. Still showing plenty of, uh, plenty of George here. Yep. You know, 12 year old quarter, gonna look pretty good. Gonna look real sharp. Nowadays, you're seeing these old 65s, they're starting to lose a lot of, a lot of uh, detail in the hair here. This is down to very fine. You know, after only 54 years, 50, yeah. That's what you're ending up with. That's an iron chain. What's the eagle look like on a 65? Got a flat breast. Ain't that too bad? Well, the rest of it's not too bad. A little scratch over there. There's Riser. Good to see you. Youper. I'm hoping to get some Canadian coins on these, but uh, they don't make it anymore. The, oh, the technology being used to sort out and clean the quarters, they weigh them up. You know, anything too small or funny gets, uh, gets knocked out. We used to get Canadian quarters in the rolls back in Maine. Of course, Canada's right there. And Canadian coins, they pretty much change, you know, hands at par. It's not a problem. I was thought, wouldn't it make sense, you know, take some American dollars, go to Canada, right, buy some Canadian coins, you know, by the roll, bring them back and spend them at face. You'd pick up 10%. What's going on here, George? Doo doo. Wipe it on your shirt. That's why I wear junky old shirts. 
All right, 91. Yeah. So that's coming up on 30 years, and you're getting some heavy wear on there. You're really starting to show. These are supposed to last, you know, 20 years and then be gone. So that, what, you got to replace 5% of your circulating coinage every year? Yeah, that's pretty much what they figure. Here's a shiny one. Got a peacock on the back. Uh, P, shucks. Is anything down here? Uh, sometimes you can find some die cracks right along the ridge of the neck and look for those to, you know, head out towards the, uh, towards the, the rim. I think the general quality of these are pretty good. There it is. It's the, uh, Kisachi, is that it? Yeah, it's Kisachi. You get the bird here, look for double feathers, especially right here in the center. You're looking for these lines to be doubled. And see if he's got something in his, uh, in his paw. And try not to slobber on it. Yeah, wild turkey. Did you see CFA video on the Great American Coin Hunt? I did not. I'll get over there and check that out directly. Try to spend an Indian head, and the lady wouldn't take it. They get so stubborn nowadays at the changement, you know, at the at the cash registers. Uh, put it in by some bubble gum or something. I'm not taking that. That's not real money. I tell you, you can't have these emotional flare-ups in public. It draws a lot of views. You know, I went to bank to to get some stuff and said, "Can I get some quarters?" Yeah. She gives me this look because you know it's a what? Too much heavy lifting. This is Perry. It's Perry's victory. And there's some Dudley somewhere on here, and I think it's subtle right in the center. I think along the left side of the leg. Left side of the, his right leg, somewhere around here, would be a, about right. Well, anyway, she get and got him. Had to go all the way out back. Waddled out there. She comes back and I said, oh, can, can you get new ones? You'll get what I give you. You fucking bitch. What happened to the days of customer service? Sure, it's no problem. Now it is. Now it's a hassle. Gosh, if I gotta lift an extra finger, you know, it's not my job. Okay, look at this. Rings all the way through that. You can see the distance between the edge and the rim, or the the rim, the rim here, yeah, and the, and the scour line there. It's about as thick as that end of the roll. Okay, that's on this one, quadricential. Check it on God we rust, see if we can find that. Well, the bank's going to pay for these rolls, that's the thing. I give them stories when I go in and ask for rolls. I said, my nephews are in town, we're going to play, uh, whatever. You know, Parcheesi or, or Bingo or something, or play poker. Uh, I give them a quarter and they mow the yard, right? Whatever story you got to give them. We gotta have, we're having a big poker night. Can I get a box of nickels? <laughs> That's believable, right? Well, you figure they work as a bank teller. Maybe they don't have a life, and that might be kind of exciting to them. I don't know. We should all be using $2 bills. Why not? They give them to you at the bank if they got them, as long as they don't have to you know, go back to get them, because then it's a hardship. They like to sit right there all day. They used to make them stand. Now they got chairs. Look at these big tall stools. I guess they're really comfortable. I don't know. But judging by uh, well, the desire to, to remain seated, they got to be comfortable. Oh, coffee. Yes, there's coffee. Get yourself a cup. It's self serve. Throw the younger generation into fits. Oh, she flipped out. You'll get what I give you. All right, you'll get your account closed. You know, you get the bank manager over here. Just looks up. You know, he's he's about to hit this button over here. I don't know what the button does, but I don't think I want him to hit it. Okay, you're gonna find this a lot. Uh, it's a broken mint mark punt. Remember the way the uh, this is raised against the field, so it's depressed into the die. 
but the center of the P would be a little post raised up. Well, it does take much to knock that post up. And just you know, either wear it out, flatten it, which is more likely, or, or snap the thing off. And the result, you get these in a lot of uh, oh, 80, 81, 82, thereabouts, earlier P's, where it's just a blob. Oh, good. We got, we got golf cart racing going on outside. How exciting is that? This is how fun my neighborhood is. Get these ATVs and golf buggies and they race back. It's a straight road. I mean, for like two miles out here. You know, the only thing coming in is you know me. Uh, there's no other roads for a while. Shenandoah. Here it is. That's the backpack. Anything in there? What's what would you have in your backpack? Coffee, you say? Yeah. I don't see anything atypical here. Geez, you really have to learn and study this design to pick out die chips, wouldn't you? Hmm. Don't see many Philly mints. Well, they put the mint mark on in, uh, starting in 1980. And they were kind of blobby then. Now they're just more blobby. And they changed the design of the P over time. Uh, what is it, 30 years later? This is a... Uh, 2014 so yeah uh, 25 years into it they get a P that's not as blobby but they also changed the way they impress the uh, the mint marks into the dies they do at the master hub level rather than uh, or actually the master they do it earlier there we go it's a, it's put into the hub 78 no mint mark that's an oldie you know, when I started collecting coins, this wasn't made yet. On the back, you get a lot of cracks right along the edge of the wing. You keep up, keep an eye out for that. Uh, you get a clash that's uh, coming from the beak. Keep an eye out for that. We're not saying anything in this first roll. A lot of old ones in here. Don't, not too many states. 74. That, big fat design back then all this talk of coffee now we didn't need another cup yeah uh, coffee with Liz comes up in 45 minutes I'm hoping to get through these two rolls by then this is mangled throw that out. well if you want to put together a you know a as complete a set of Washington's as possible out of circulation now these are, uh, you know, the king of coins. As far as what we use nowadays for circulating coinage, uh, they are the, you know, the go-to. Anything more than a quarter, you get one of these back in change. You figure half of the sales require two quarters in change. And we don't pass around the half dollars anymore. But the quarters are indispensable in our modern society. All the vending machines, you know, pump a quarter in. You stand there all day nowadays. Geez, you know what a you know what a soda was when I was a kid? A nickel. We'd take a nickel. We'd go down to the fire station. They had a uh, a soda machine there. And you put a nickel in. I probably put a bunch of buffaloes in there. I know my sister did. She got a lot of. And you open the door, right? And there's these bottles in there. You got Tab and Fanta, you know, RC, the Coke. The Lexington machines didn't even carry Coke back then. You know, Tab was the thing. Knee high. That's ruined. And you pull it with all your might. I mean, you get a knuckle onto that thing with two hands and yard it right out of there. And you got yourself a soda. It's cold. It's sweet, it's bubbly, made your nose, you know, burn. No Liz today. Oh, sorry to hear it. In that case, we'll move on to these half dollars. And it was a nickel. You get to see the fire trucks. That was the best part. And the guys didn't mind. You know, what are they going to do? Yell at a, yell at a five-year-old kid getting a soda? They didn't do that now back then. Nowadays, you can't even step foot in a fire department. They'll be calling the cops on you, hitting you with a taser. You'd be, you'd be standing at all before the man for trying to look at a fire truck. 
Morning, Steve. How are you? Got a couple of rolls of quarters, and we're just looking to see what we can, what we can find. I'm not hopeful for W's. Well, let's face it. We're back in the woods over here. I'm just now getting the, you know, getting getting fire in the wheel. Yeah, we 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 got the local tribes at bay. We got some stockade up. But I'm afraid those W quarters are going to be a little while reaching, reaching into these parts. I mean, there's brambles the rabbits won't get into. And that's before you get to my house. We've got to go through the brambles. This is the sticks. There's people living in the woods. You know, they got no clothes, they just run wild. They got caves or something. Uh, they're hippies. What's the date on this? A 66. Look how much he's aware now. This is down to fine condition. With it, just a huge amount of marks on it. She said, if you're going to spend coins, you got to probably spend quarters. You can figure the, uh, well, the wear on these things accelerates. Just, uh, we're using a lot more coins than we were back then. Hmm. But the way we handle our coins changes over time, right? You got a can, you got a, you know, a change barrel. You know, my, gr my grandmother had a, a purse and she had, what the heck, I got one of, she had one of these, right? She'd keep her pennies in there, right? And she'd get to the line and she'd give the guy, you know, six dollars and she'd open this up and rummage around to find 16 cents. Here's a dime. Rummage around. Here's a nickel. Took it took 17 minutes. It looks like four people behind are thinking, how long is this gonna take? Oh God. Oh, now you get home, you throw your change in the, you know, in a can. You get your keys. You got a can, right beside each other. Holding up the entire line. Hurry up! I'll pay the difference. Go. Oh, look. You got the Mount Rushmore's. These are kind of neat. I got a couple of these somewhere. I got to do a quarter show. Okay, look right up. You got this guy's eyeball. This is uh, TJ. All right. And you're looking along his nose, especially right around this. This See the little bounce where he broke his nose? You know, he's like six years old. Somebody hit him in the head with an apple. And right here is where you're going to see these little kind of oval, long stretched out oval shapes. Uh, that's extra metal from a double die. Like today, when actually somebody actually writes a check. What? You're writing a check? I just found out I can pay my property taxes online. That's a, that's an amazing thing for this this backwards county. All right? The old way of paying property taxes, you find one of these people living in the woods, you give him an apple, you, you give him a, you know, an envelope. He knows what to do. He knows where to go. Hmm. Huh? He got an apple. Oh, it's taxes. And they would they would run and pay your taxes for you. Brian, did you register with a selective service? I did when I hit eighteen. Now the girl across the street did not have to. I'm thinking this ain't fair. I get shot at to protect her. I don't even like her. The hell is this? Yeah, well, we didn't have to fall back on that, fortunately. But, well, those were different times back then, weren't they? You know, the, the wall was still up. What's gone with this one? This is just plain wore out funky. Uh, this looks to be uh, one of them fountain coins, right? Till the surface is just uh, uh, frigged up. The whole thing, evenly across the surfaces. you got these these stains. Right. Well, people throw them in wishing wells, and then other people haul them out, and they use them for whatever, you know, scholarships, they say. I think the owners really just pocket the change. I'm going to open up a building and put in, like, a restaurant and, a, you know, ice cream stand and a video arcade and a fountain. I'll break even on everything else. I'll make my money just in the fountain. Put up a sign. Throw in a quarter, make a wish. 
Okay, there's one row. We found nothing. Let's look at the other one. This one has a new George and, a, and an Eagle. Let's see what we get. Writing a check at the register aggravates the crap out of me. What? Seriously, uh, go get you got a checking account. They'll give you give you a debit account. If you can't remember the number, write it on your arm. Tattoo it on your forehead. Jeez. Your son's got a tattoo on his forehead. Where do you learn that? Okay, we got a we got a roller ring right on the end of the roll. And that looks to be shiny and fresh. Ain't that a darn shame? And top of his head too. And what is it? It's a uh, George Rogers. No, George Rogers Clark. I don't know the story about George Rogers Clark, man. I really should give it some attention. Find out what's going on. Let's look for the center of the coin, which would be right about here. So let's look for extra bits around there. And I'm really not seeing anything. Looks like a good tight design. Okay, George Rogers Clark, 2017. All right, I'm going to have to set that out and see if I've got one. It's not the best. No matter. If I ain't got one, it's my best now. Keep the best and the hell of the rest. <coughs> Excuse me. This claw looks good. Feathers, how they look? Keg party. I ain't got a good kegger in years. We should have one. We've got the room for it. Oh, we got that barn. You can just go behind that and pee. Plenty of firewood out there. I wonder if the hackers nowadays would even look for the account numbers on a check. They got these checks and they had to put in like, you know, magnetic ink, right? So that they could be scanned. Checks. Good lord. Hey, as long as you got the routing number and stuff, and the account number. Yep, back in the old day when hackers had to carry paper around. Well, anyway, get back into what uh, circulating coin is nowadays. Uh, it doesn't get around the way it used to. We we're actually making more coins, not so much because the economy is bigger, but because we're not circulating the coins. There, we got one. We got a find. Look at that. Okay. It goes from the rim, right here, through the U, into the bust. That's a die crack. Looks like it then proceeds across the base of the bust just a little ways. All right. See this. I keep this kind of thing because I'm a freak. But there's nothing wrong with these. You don't. There. Well, we got through 40, 50 of the darn things so far, and this is the only one we found. That's it. Die crack. But it starts to contort the letters. You know, over time, these will grow. Sometimes they widen. Sometimes chips break off. Yeah, ends up in a big blob here at the tip of the uh, tip of the neck. And this is this is probably the, one of the most common points for a die crack on a quarter. Uh, it's right from the uh, tip of the neck down towards the rim. Well, good. There's a good one. Where's my crack scan? Here, that's chips and cracks and rollers. Ta-da! Oh, we found one. Those chips don't add a lot of value, but give it time like a lot of time uh, I document the things so back to what I was saying uh, now you get this can right beside your change or no right beside your car keys you get home you empty your pockets get rid of your change and the change builds and some people they got I mean these barrels they got these five gallon jugs from the water company and they're filling those with change and they got you know seven of the darn things in their closet now, it used to be you got a couple of dollars and change. Okay, let's spend that next time we go to the store. You know, we need gas. Remember, I was, you know, seven or eight years old. We're going to camp. And my father goes to the gas station, gets some gas, hands him two quarters. 
Yep, enough gas to get us to camp. No fooling. No, now what's what's uh what's fifty cents in gas gonna get you? It'll get you to the road as you're leaving the gas station. That's about it. Well, we got the debit cards and they're some handy. It makes it a whole lot easier than standing there writing a check for twenty minutes and having them say, "Can I see your ID?" Okay, here you go. Let me call my manager. All right, manager comes over, looks at it, looks at the ID, looks at the old lady, signs off. Okay, you can take that check. You know, 20 minutes later, you got you got three guys over here passed out. Just you know, the blood left their brains. They like they're unconscious in line. You know, this one kid's been screaming for for 20 minutes, just nonstop. We can't get away from the kid because we're in line. Once you're in the line of the grocery store, you're trapped, man. You're not going anywhere. And the kid starts screaming. There's nothing you can do. You know, you, you bend over. You tear the part of a shirt off the guy in front of you who passed on. You stuff these wads in your ears. You turn around. You scowl at them. And then when you get older, you don't have to put up with that shit no more. You just turn around and say, put a plug in that kid's mouth, will you? The hell's the matter with you? I mean, I was in the supermarket line one time. And there's this chick in front of me. She got her ass sticks out so far. I mean, it's like a shelf, right? The back, and then you got this shelf, and and then this giant ass. And I, I, I could set, I could set a lamp on that, and she could walk around the store, and it wouldn't fall off. She got that screaming kid with her. Why don't you head up to aisle 7? They got plugs for them kids' mouths. Mm. But, you, you know, you can't have these public outbursts. People look, they say bad things, have bad thoughts. And I guess it's really important what other people think. Until you get to a certain age, you know, a certain point in your life, <laughs> then it don't matter for nothing. Plug, now! Wouldn't you like to see gas about 19 cents like it was during the gas wars? When I first started, I got gas for 59 or 69 cents a gallon. I mean, they were giving the stuff away, you know? Milk was a buck and a half. Milk has always been more than gas. I, I don't know why. Is there a relationship there? I'd settle for under two bucks. When I had the candy company, it was a we were doing 89 to 99 cents and went over a dollar in some parts of Massachusetts. And I'm thinking, a dollar a gallon? I'm going to quit driving. You know, and smokes were a dollar a pack. They went to a dollar 12 and I said, I'm going to quit smoking. Well, I quit driving at least. I just don't drive as much. I actually spend more on insurance for that truck than I do in, in fuel. I put, you know, 10, 15 bucks in gas in the truck. And insurance is, is, what is it? I'd have to look. I think it's 50, 60 bucks a month. What the hell? 79 cents when I started driving. What's this one? I, I'm a little zoomed in here. What's that there? That's MD. That's mechanical doubling. Let's zoom out just a little bit so we can see what the hell we're looking at. So the molecules. It's the chickadee. It's a palmetto state. What kind of bird is that? Anybody know? That's a state bird of South Carolina. There aren't that many palm trees in South Carolina, really. Mostly it's pigs. You're driving along, you're driving along I-95, South Carolina. <laughs> you get a, a whiff. Oh, God. They got these enormous pig farms. Okay, if you're looking for dye ships, this is really going to screw with you. Nevada, and you get that bristle, something or other, bristle cone pine, or I don't know what the hell that is. This looks pretty normal, nothing there. Lick the like button. Look at clean his teddy, without his glasses. If you can see his mustache, you know you got a good one. All right, where's the center of that coin? It's going to be right above the horse's back, right around in here. This is where I'd expect to see 
some doubling if it were to exist. I'd look in this area. I'm going to be disappointed on this one. That one these come. I don't know if I have one of those. I'll set that aside. Oh, look, we got a cow. Baby cow. Okay, you got to look for a high leaf and a low leaf. Low leaf has a an extra bit right in here you want to keep an eye out for. This is perfectly normal. Isn't that a cute little cow? Dude, that's like the cutest cow that ever graced a coin. Remember 35 cents a pack? Remember 85 cents a pack? I want to look at that. I want to see closer up of this. What's going on there? Some of these inqs letters, you got some extra bits in there. That is, that looks to be damage. Start with the assumption of damage, always. Yeah, that's just a piece of gouge. Okay. Most of the things you see in these coins are going to be damaged. It's this one. Oh, it's another cow. Okay, let's look. The leaf is normal. The cow is cute. And there's nothing with it. nothing wrong with forward. Mmm, jeez. Yeah, you want to sell a quarter? You put some bacon on that quarter. I mean, cheese is good, but bacon? Forget it. This is in pretty darn decent shape. Okay, except for all the little contact marks on his cheek. Never mind that. It's worn. It's circulated. It's a goner. How is it when they sued the tobacco companies, I ended up paying the damages? Dude, they, they own it. They take all the money you pay on smokes, about 10% that, that actually pays for, you know, the tobacco and the paper and the package and the shipping and distribution. The rest goes to Congress. No, I'm not making this up. Half of your consumer expenses goes to Congress, either in payoffs or bribes or, you know, campaign contributions or whatever the heck it is. You know, you're paying for it. They just get the credit because they, they sit there and write the check. And when it's congressmen in line, dude, it doesn't matter how long the line is, how many people are in that line. There's somebody writing a check and by God, they're going to get in that line. Yeah, because they ain't handing out pocket change. What's it cost nowadays to be elected president? Two billion dollars? Who's got that kind of cash lying around? She said, I got a good start. I can campaign for about four minutes. Looking at this. Back in my day, a roll of pennies was 50 cents. Back in my day, a box of pennies was 10 bucks. They didn't have these big $25 boxes. They had you know, these short, uh, kinder, gentler penny boxes. Ten bucks. Had about uh, 20 rolls in there, I think. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Doom, doom, doom. Never warm when she's away. There we go. Paula's back. I thought you were at the uh, show there. We're looking for W quarters here. Because Amanda found one. By God, I'm going to find one. And look. There's one right here. Look, we got a W. We got a miss. We got a P over W quarter here. Believe it or not, it's a one of a kind find. Nobody's got one of these yet. Looks like the P has completely destroyed the W. Uh, Voyagers, hey, hey, I don't have this one. Look, it's a new quarter for me. It's got a ducky. There it is. JFM and PLM. And JFM is now your your chief engraver. Well, I don't have a I don't have a Voyager's quarter. Okay, here's a Arkansas because they're well known for their diamonds. All those Arkansas diamond mines. Morning, Schumar. What you guys doing? You hanging around? Have you been to every single table? Have you seen the, the machine yet? Did you run into Dustin and say hi for us? Did you get me one of everything? Did you get me anything? 
That's really what it comes down to, right? Did you get me anything? No, you don't care. You don't care about me, my needs, my feelings. If you did, you'd send coins. Nobody else sent coins. You sent nothing. Got lots of marks on these. Well, we do have, uh, we are getting newer coins. We got 1997 out here in the woods. Did you run naked to the parking lot? What did you do last night, really? Right after the tequila shots. It's hard to say, isn't it? 89. Oh. You know, there's not a lot of uh, state and ATBs in here either. I've, I've gotten these rolls that have been half state, you know, the other half ATBs. Well, you get these coins, they sit in these jars. I mean, for years, months, a long time. You don't, uh, you don't take that one dollar or two dollars worth of change and, you know, deposit it anymore. Your check is automatically deposited, so you're stuck with the change. You know, hit the ATM. You get twenty bucks, thirty bucks. You go drinking. How much it costs to go out drinking nowadays? If you take a change, you just you keep it. And uh, the change amasses like never before. We don't we don't use the change we used to, so it doesn't circulate quite as hard. Shay, what time are you going on today? Or Mantic? Shay or Adrian? I don't know who it is. Now the way you type that, that's a uh, that's Shay. I can tell. Nothing on that one. What's this one? Ah, see that? You can tell it's a Bob Ross quarter. I can tell that because I cheated. Depends if you're male or female, and cute or ugly. Wow. I'm male and ugly. What's that going to get me? Probably a bad story. You know. I haven't found anything on these. Is that a gang symbol? It is, isn't it? That's like a gang symbol. I think I you think I saw I think I saw somebody on TV. They they went like this and put their finger finger down. And they said, "Oh, that means something." What does that mean? It's one of those Kappa Alpha symbols. Going out drinking, one day's day, one day's pay for a painter. Man, nothing on there. These aren't actually windows. You know, there are no window seats. This is actually vent ports uh, to equalize the pressure inside and outside the cargo bay so, so the doors don't get thrown open. I bet you didn't know that. Okay, let's see. Rhode Island. It's more ocean than, than state. And we got, no, that's a P. This is what we can expect these W's to look like. Now, if we don't get them right now, and I mean right now, this is what they're going to look like in just a couple years. What's the date on this one? 2000. All right, and here's what? Mayflower? Oh, Jamestown. It won't take long to lose all those W's, and they'll settle in at, you know, a few bucks. But if we can save a bunch of these W's early on, well, you're going to have a lot of high grades. So they'd be the low ones that are circulated, and the, and the ones that people picked out early. And it's those early ones that are in great, great shape that... Uh, People gonna hold on to. They're the ones that can hold their value, and I'm thinking they're gonna settle at you know five to ten bucks. That looks pronounced right here. Get a little. Oops. What you got there, George? You get some pleurisy? No. That looks cool. That looks normal. Maybe the way that light's hitting it. I'm not a cheap date. I'm not cheap. I'm just really reasonable. 
Treasures of Texas is here. Nothing in there. Wow, we're getting limited here on our selection. Here's a new looking one. Anything? It's a... No. Man, I'm so dis... I quit. I suck at this. I went through two rolls and didn't find, you know, 80 W quarters. I should have found dozens of them. Dozens. People talking about them. They must be everywhere. I didn't find a one. Coincidentally, that's why you don't go to the bar much. Because you're, you're male and ugly? That's why I don't go. Dude, all I ever did at, at bars was, was get beat up. No, nothing on there. Now, as you go through a lot of these, you tend to start skipping stuff, right? You look at one or two things, you call it good, and then yeah, good enough. And instead of looking at everything, you just toss it. That's when you. That's when it's time to stop what you're doing. And come in fresh another time. Well, it's not too screwed up. Two, four, six, eight left. Not much there. What's going on with his neck? He's got a he's got a French choker around there. That's right. He's female and cute on the on the eagle. It looks normal on the top of his head there. Okay. Gonna need some of that, Mike. He makes his own Hoosier. What do you make, Mike Badger? Oh, that one's just roadkill right there. We won't bother with that one. Okay, let's see what we got. 81D. Now, gone it. Just wore up. How about this one? 68 and just, just mangled. Mangled, wore out, tired, gone. Well, they'll keep circulating these for a long time. They'll, these will circulate for another 50 years. If they're still using coinage in 50 years. Because people are keeping the darn things in volume, in storage, or taking it out of circulation and putting it off on a jar on a shelf. Well, that just extends the life of that coin is what's happening. And it's the change in the way we handle our coins over the past 30, 40 years. It's going to keep them around, well, for an, for an extra 30, 40, 50 years, because they're not being worn out. Looks like laundry money. There it is. There we go. Okay, there. There's two rolls. We really didn't find anything. I got uh, a die crack, and I got a voyeur's, what was that other one, uh, keeping three out of this batch, this is them, we got, uh, oh, that's right, we got the Teddy Roosevelt, let's see if I have one, I don't know if I have one, we got a voyager's with a ducky, whack, ass whack, that one's a, uh, that's a P, and we got this one here that has a die crack, where the hell did the die crack go? I'm going to have to go through these all over again. Okay, shucks. Maybe this one has a, a crack. No. No. Where'd it go? Okay, what's the third one? I got a third one. I don't know anything about it. Uh, George Rogers Clark. Okay, there. I got to see if I got these. But I have, oh, I stuck it in, stuck it in the crack jar. There it is. So we kept four out of this, and three of them might go back. And that one's a keeper. One die crack. Eh, got some doo-doo on it. Is it fresh doo-doo or old doo-doo? Hmm, don't know. Morning, everyone. Paul is back again. Yep, four. Four quarters out of that whole batch. Ah, oh, darn it. Now I've got to roll these up. Where'd, them, where'd that thing go? I 
look at this thing here. Here, I use this box. It'll make it easier on me. I can roll up two rolls and leave them, you know, two quarters short on each one. And they'll never know. Go to Walmart. There you go. Ah, what the heck? Well, we ran an hour. I'm going to call that good. I've got some things I want to get going on. What's the coolest coin you've seen so far in the show, Paula? Hmm, going to be the Paula show from here on out. What, what else do they have? What did you see? You got pictures? I got the half dollars. I finally got to them, right? Um, not many 65s. Mostly these are 67s, 68s, and 69s. Uh, but a lot of them are in pretty darn decent shape. What do you think? So I gotta go through these one at a time. But I gotta, I gotta pull up Mantic's list because I don't know what the hell I'm looking for in these. Me and Jeffrey are going live today, but Dustin had an emergency and had to leave. Sorry to hear that, and glad to hear that. See the way we get good and bad news together? And pay the like button, folks. Big show tonight. Let's see. 9.30. Right there. You don't want to miss it. We got some goodies. Uh, I still haven't found that uh, that halftime. There's, there's one floating around here somewhere. I have to find it. I want to get that in. Mm-hmm. If you're a Chevy fan, Impale, Impala, the light. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to go. Hey, I got a good video up on the, uh, in the YouTuber group. Uh, it's a promo for, for riser toilet paper. You want to get in there and see that. I'm going to take off. I got to reload my coffee, hit the bathroom, probably go check the mail. And if it doesn't rain, I might plant some, uh, some squash. Mmm, nice fresh zucchinis. Yeah, I'm getting ready for that. Okay, guys. I'm taking off. You stay groovy.